Okay? And what does this mean for the election of men? First of all, we need to establish that God did choose from the foundation of the world, from eternity, he did elect who would be saved before it plays out in space-time. Ephesians 1.4 is clear. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Pretty clear language. 2 Thessalonians 2, 13 and 14. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you. Brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation. We're predestined in eternity. Ephesians 1, 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. So we're predestinated. We're called in eternity. 2 Timothy 1, 9, who have saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Notice the time-centric language again. There was no time before time. And yet we call it the time before time because we can't say it any other way. Okay. So we're ordained. Acts 13, 48. And when the Gentiles heard this, we're ordained to salvation. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. But as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. Yet, in all of these scriptures on election and divine choice, where is there any evidence that election is unconditional? 